All right, so we're with Julie Green again today. I got a message from Jane Jones. Thank you, sister. She uh, she said, Drew, go check out Julie's new video on Rumble, and I did, and whoo, it's a doozy. You can see the title, Your Elections Will Be Overturned. This, of course, having everything to do with the recent midterms disaster where Julie and many of the other false prophets prophesied that there was going to be a red wave, a red tsunami, and of course that didn't happen. So the content of this video is Julie in damage control, where she continues to lie in the name of Jesus Christ. Now when I saw the title, I burst out laughing, almost like a you've got to be kidding me moment. Julie's entire platform for almost two years has been her promising through prophecy and hundreds and hundreds of videos promising the listener that a certain 2020 presidential election was going to be overturned. That hasn't happened. And so while that debacle continues, she is faced with another debacle more failed prophecies. I'm not kidding. This is absolutely astonishing how anyone would continue to listen to this lady and think that she's an actual prophet is just beyond. This is a level of delusion that is I think is rarely seen on this earth. So we're going to listen to some clips as we go and we will comment. And again, why well, we want to make sure that we're a voice of opposition to these false prophets who care not for the truth of Jesus Christ. They care for Donald Trump and politics. For I, the Lord, this day am asking my children, where is your faith? Why are so many of my people discouraged? Why are so many of my people weeping? Because you lied? Why are so many still murmuring and groaning and complaining? Because you lied? Why are so many still going by what you see? Well, because you told us that there was going to be a midterm red wave, a red tsunami. You lied. That's what we were told to see. But now you're saying that's not the case? And not me, and not what I have said. You said, at least according to, now keep in mind, this is according to, to Julie Green saying that God is speaking through her right now, when in fact, we know that God is not speaking through her. When I say you lied, it's, it's all about Julie. I have sent my prophets in the land. No, I no, clearly that's a lie too, because you falsely prophesied. You see, God's prophets never miss. They never, ever miss. They are 100% perfect in delivering God's word i have sent them to speak my words not you julie and all the others uh, god did not send you the devil sent you you're a liar i have sent them to warn and those of you who are still not listening you are battered down and beaten and bruised now why are they battered down beaten and bruised well, because Julie taught her followers to put their faith in Donald Trump. Julie taught her followers to put their hope and faith in America. And so when, they, uh, when the prophecies fall flat and they prove false, they are battered down, bruised, and whatever else she said. Because their hope and their faith is not exclusively in Jesus Christ. That's why. Because you see what your enemies have done. I have warned you time and time again that your enemies had a plan. That your enemies were going to do these things that you are seeing them do. Right. And right after you said that, you said, but don't worry, we're going to win the presidential election and we're going to win the midterms. The midterms. And, and that didn't happen. So, again, what's your point? But didn't I say that I am your victory? Is that not my name? I am Jehovah Nissi. I am your banner and I am your victory. Jo 
Now, that actually sounds all good if your faith is in Jesus Christ. But again, what does that have to do with the midterm elections? You can't transfer the glory and the gospel of Jesus Christ to Donald Trump and expect people to be strong and mighty in that. No, people are strong and mighty in Jesus Christ, the gospel. Just because your enemies are out there and they're saying you lose, they're saying you're defeated. They're saying we win and we're taking your nation. Taking your nation. See, here it is. This is what it's all about. Uh, she's taught her followers to hope in getting back the nation. And while we're looking at that, let's let's take a look at Julie here. Uh, not a good picture. First of all, if you can get past the blankets, clearly she's having some issues here. About the only thing that's missing is a padded room and a straitjacket. But make no mistake, because of all this, this is where this woman is headed. Do you actually believe them? Do you believe that I have allowed them to steal your nation? Do you believe that I'm actually allowing them to steal another election? Oh, did God allow that then? Wait, I thought God was taken back at the 2020 election. I thought, you know, you, you guys did put the blame on him because you never owned up to it yourself. So are you saying that uh, God allowed that first election to get stolen or that God just didn't see it? I mean, I'm confused here. But I have told you, my children, I don't need an election to save your nation. But that's not what you said before. You said that we were going to win the elections, the midterms. So now that it didn't happen, your excuse is to say, well, I don't need to win the elections. I, I, again, this is what false prophets do. Other than the fact that they shipwreck faith, they sow confusion. Can you take away anything from this? I don't need another election to bring back my David. I my David. She's talking about Trump. So, again, I think I'll stop it right here. This is, uh, it's truly pathetic. It's truly pathetic. The level of performance and theater that she's doing here is uh, again right on par i beg you that if you are a follower of julie green and any of these other false prophets i'm pleading with you come back to jesus christ come back to sober-mindedness and sincerity and serve jesus christ check yourself where is your hope is your hope in Donald Trump or any other politician for that matter? Then back up, take a breath, come back to Jesus. I'm going to wrap up this video from 2 Peter chapter 2. Please read this with me. But there were false prophets also among the people, even as there shall be false teachers among you, who privily shall bring in damnable heresies, even denying the Lord that bought them, and bring upon themselves swift destruction and many shall follow their pernicious ways. Ask yourself in this time, who do the many follow? Look at the sub counts. Where are the masses? They're all following these false prophets. That's where the majority of the followers are. Check yourself, is that you? By reason of whom the way of truth shall be evil spoken of. Is there anything more evil than getting your followers to take their hope off of Jesus Christ and place it on a man? Hmm. Verse 3, and here it is, and through covetousness shall they with what? Fiend words. I don't know. Throw a blanket on, sit in a chair, close your eyes, rub your fingers together, and pretend like God is speaking through you in a very dramatic presentation. That's pretty fiend right there. Whose judgment of now of a long time lingereth not, and their damnation slumbereth not. I've said this before. Some of the most evil people right now on the face of this earth are those who would shipwreck the faith of true believers. And nobody does that more and nobody does that better than false prophets. Serve Jesus Christ in truth and sincerity. You've already given up on me. You've already given up on my prophets. You've given up on my words. Why? Use a liar!